thank you guys for subscribing and uh, I do hope you would like my future videos including this one so there you go also I advise you guys to check out my youtube partner here Deli Fury 16 he has some awesome tutorials that might interest you so basically what I'm going to talk about in this video is how to make animated GIFs or graphic interchange format files or images in GIMP so GIMP is basically a freeware program very much like Photoshop except that well it's for free and it's currently my favorite uh, image editing software so if you would recall I had also made a video about making animated wallpapers and um, I basically described this one as a quick way on making animated wallpapers because basically what we do here is we load the image to GIMP and then we pass it to a filter particularly an animation filter and then save it as a GIF file and then you can turn it into your own animated wallpaper this time we are going to make um, GIF files again but we are not going to use the animation filters that I had discussed here so we're going to use a different method and that method is basically just by adding layers so I'm going to open GIMP to quickly show you here we are and I had loaded my icon my YouTube icon or my YouTube avatar that I had um, downloaded from this site by the way from portrait icon maker and um, this is a cool site uh, you can make your own icons and uh, it's pretty much according to you and what um, particular stuff your icon would be having or would look like so I'll put this in the description because it's a really neat site anyway so I had um, basically loaded my uh, icon here in GIMP and um, it is also my watermark as you can see and he'll be appearing on my future videos from now on so basically to make this um, animated all you have to do is press ctrl L to open your layers window and then all you have to do is duplicate your layer so I had already duplicated it and then with your duplicated layer you will now edit what particular thing you want your image to do so in my case I want my image to change its facial expressions so I'm going to hide the original thing for you to see what I had done or how I edited mine so I'm just going to show you there we are so basically I had just opened his eyes and uh, make his tongue stick out like so and um, there you go I had made a change in my image that can be turned into an animation so basically what I have here are two layers the original one okay and then my edited version so if I am to save this right away I'll get an animation that is um, really fast because I only have two layers so it would just be alternating between these two layers and I don't want that to happen because it's not that realistic so it's really up to you guys and how you want your speed or how you want how you want your animation speed to be so to control the animation speed all you have to do is delay each particular layer so for instance since I want it to be delayed I'm just going to duplicate this particular layer to slow it down so I'm just going to duplicate and I'm going to duplicate it again so I have three layers alright of my original image and I'm going to duplicate my edited version once like so so if I am to save this as an animation it would not be like before it would have a pace now or should I say 
your speed is now moderated. So it's really up to you and how you would design your image or how fast your animation would go. So I'm satisfied with my layers. I'm going to save this as an animation file. So just click File, click Save As. Then I'm going to name this as Motion. And also, of course, you save it as a GIF file. And I'm going to save it on my desktop for quick access. So hit save. Then another window will pop up. And you have to select save as animation. So I'm going to hit that for it to move. And hit export. And then, don't forget to tick loop forever so it won't stop moving. So I'm just going to click save. Delay inserted. Okay, it's alright. Click OK. So I'm just going to show you my finished image. This is my previous image, my original icon, and this is what I had done. So I'm just going to zoom in to show you. And here's my animation. So I think that's really neat and, uh, well, it's quite simple to do actually. So I do hope you learn from that. And of course, this is for the benefit of those who don't know yet. An additional application you can do with GIMP and uh, just have fun making your own animations. So thanks for watching this video. See you guys later.